Hello, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. My name is WW Dadman, but you already know that. And we are building our lander for Duna today. Um, now, obviously, since uh, I said we, we uh, were going to um, take a rover as well, um, which definitely going to use the uh, external seat for that um, we're gonna have to build like a big lander that uh, is able to like have a freaking um, rover stored under it so <clears throat> let me see um, first of all uh, we're going to need a reaction wheel on this thing because otherwise, um, where the heck is the reaction wheel stuff? Utility? There. Because otherwise this is not going to be able to turn, like, properly. I'm just gonna put two. Um, we're gonna need some electricity on this. Um, now, obviously... We're gonna do like two freaking things here um action group just so we um solar panels toggle solar panels yep does that now work because last time we had solar panels on that were like able to go out but didn't actually go onto the correct action group apparently because the button didn't work I don't know anyway um, above that where's the docking stuff we're gonna put the docking port uh, under this we're going to put the heat shield because this is what go what is going to return from Duna um, and Honestly, I kind of just want to put like two batteries here or something. Ish. Should be fine. <coughs> Those can burn off on re-entry. It doesn't matter. Um, so this is what's, what's coming back to um, Kerbin. With this being uh, what docks back to the transfer stage. Um, which also means that we're going to need an aerodynamic cone on top of that. Um, for that, I wanna... Um, stack separator. Because obviously we wanna have that separate correctly um, then again we can just use a reverse freaking normal one right like this should be fine um, structural for the adapter and then uh, the aerodynamic nose cone yeah um, do we have freaking sapatrons yet? Yes, we do. That's good. Because uh, I kind of want to... Can you also just like put this to the side? Because nobody needs that at the moment. So, um, obviously this goes with that. Uh, that's just going to be shooting off into the distance. And under that, we obviously need a lander that can land on Duna. Now, um, round trip to Duna. Um, Duna low... Duna 
doing a low orbit to surface or like surface to low orbit is like what the yeah I, I'm going to assume that that is surface to low orbit uh, 1.4k so that's what needs to be left afterwards like after we land um, which means first of all we need a decoupler um, also what we definitely need on this is RCS before I forget it because if we don't have RCS where the hell is the reaction control stuff? Is that another utility as well? Because then everything is under utility and I'm really not into that. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, also, we need like a ton of parachutes on this. Um, excuse me. Thank you. Like this. Those are drogues. And like this and this. Is that fine? I mean on re-entry that doesn't really matter anymore with with the with the stuff, right? Um those obviously okay then just go in here why anyway um and obviously this also needs some radial normal shoots because uh otherwise we're not gonna have like anywhere near the amount of shoots that we need for this uh, just the hatch needs to stay okay i hope this slows down the entire thing well enough to land on Corbin again without issues also, we are going to Duna for the first time, so we are definitely going to use uh, some science. So, uh, we're going to take the little sniffer, which is the uh, the atmosphere analysis. It does the same thing. Uh, and we're going to take a science junior radio, because um, it's really the only way we can take anything radio. Because, um, holy crap, is that not going to work otherwise? That sticks out a lot. Can we put a fairing around it? Do we have enough, like, payload capabilities? We do not. Hecking heck. Um... I hope we can launch this and bring it back without this burning off. Like, this is not nice. Like that. And, like, putting it, like, up here-ish uh, with the other thing is bad. Because that's not... Uh, like, this is, is a tiny thing and that's supposed to be big. Uh, maybe we can get away with, like, putting it like this-ish, but over here. Why are these higher than these? Anyway. It's better. Um, I kind of want to put this, like, in... Like, offset it. Uh, obviously, dude. 
Still don't like that this goes inwards the moment uh, you put it to uh, align with. I hope this makes that usable and still like <clears throat> you know just just for um the sake of um trying it out I'm going to launch this the way it is right now and see if I can uh, run the tests. Run environmental survey. Yep, you can do that. Um, and you... Invalid research location. Why ever this is an invalid research location? You're supposed to be a atmosphere thing. But yeah, uh, that that works. Don't really need those five. Uh, those, so we're going to just revert to the AB. Okay, so that that works still, which means this should also work, which means I'm fine using it like this. Um, now, decoupler, because obviously this is what decouples, uh, or like that was what what comes back. So we need a decoupler and that to get rid of the rest of the uh, lander. Good. This can like stay a little bit higher up because you know, well, I mean, we could just do this manually, but then again, uh, doing this manually is gonna be a little bit weird. Uh, I could put it on a on an action group though. Let's see, custom one, you. Um, why? Why does this not show the... Huh? Why does this only show pod? Huh? Okay, action group manager is completely fucking broken still, uh, apparently, because... Just clicking something makes it break. That That's awesome. Um, da, 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 the engine. Yeah. Custom one. That... Toggle. Dude, why 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 does this need like 70 clicks? At least that works with one click for once. Mother Anyway. Uh now um For the lander, we need fuel. And then we need like a little bit of distance between this and the rest of the lander. 
and some more fuel. This is a little bit much, isn't it? Why? I'd, I'd like to understand this. W why? Why is that dumb? Oh my god, that's stupid. Okay, good. Anyway, um, now, I think it should be fine to just use one of these. Um, put four of these. Um, obviously feed from the inside out. Like this. And, um, landing gear? Why do we still not have any better landing gear? Like, this is not going to work. If you start this extended... Apart from the fact that it's all upside down. Um, there is no way that I can put like, I don't know, a poodle under that. Without it completely like sticking out. Also, just... Um, Duna Atmosphere Zero. We've got a thruster weight of 3.5 and 3,000 delta V. This should be able to take off of Duna without a problem. Now, um, about this issue. I'm just gonna, like... Bigger ones, please. Actually, the smaller ones should be fine, right? Does this work? Because then I'd, I'd like to like uh, strut that to hell and back a bit like this and this and this and maybe in here because otherwise it could be breaking why can I not put that there? Oh, because that's already the... <laughs> You're an idiot, that's why. Thanks for turning that. That that That's very useful. Like this-ish. And then we, like, alt-click that and put another one here. I was hoping for you to put the struts too, but uh, that's fine. Just gonna have to strut that manually again. Good? Good. Uh, now, start those retracted. And then
and uh, can you thanks uh, and uh, here is where we're gonna put our little rover we're also gonna put like a ton of parachutes on here that we're gonna use for actually landing Um, and obviously this needs some strats as well. This is a pure building episode, by the way. Um, we're, we're not going to launch anything today anymore. The launch is going to be next time, just in case you're wondering. Okay, this should be fine. Now for the rover, I'd say we put a little, like, tiny decoupler or something. Do we, do we have that? XS decoupler, yeah. No. Stay on there, please. Thank you. Like this. Like that can stay on this and... Yeah. That should be fine. Um, then... Uh, tiny little... Probe core? Um... That's too much. Um, then the seat for the Kerbal, because we need to send the Kerbal over. Um, some batteries and like sun stuff, obviously. Like, we need at least one of these. And, like, one of... Let's make two of these. And then we need wheels. Uh, just just one wheel at a time, please, because apparently you're being weird. This should be fine. Should be correct height, yeah. And there. Um. It's too much. Like this. Yeah. And that's a hundred percent not going to uh, land like upside down, like or like right side up. If I decouple it like this, right? Like, honestly, just save. 
and let me let me try that out. Launch. If it works on Kerbin, it's gonna work on Duna, is what I'm getting at. Game? What the hell are you doing? Okay, so first and foremost, holy shit, why is the camera so fucked? Um, so first and foremost, uh, the legs are holding, that's good. Uh, this is pretty high above ground, but if I just go ahead and decouple this... It's gonna go the exact wrong side. Okay, if I switch over to this, what was the button for switching vessels? Apart from the fact that I need to fucking go into the fucking settings again and uh, look at the input settings anyway, so my uh, freaking uh, settings for uh, increase and decrease time warp work. Uh, where was the switch freaking vessel thing? Next vessel, previous vessel. What is this? Equals? Where is that on a fucking American keyboard anyway? Um, this... And previous vessel. Let, let's make it that. Resume game. Okay. So if I. Okay. I cannot at all move this. There's no way of turning this. Which means, um, it would lie around like this on, on, on Duna. Which means, revert to VAB, absolutely. Um, we need to make this a tiny little bit different. Um, so what I want to do is take this off here. Put it over here for a moment. Um, and put another decoupler. This time you can do it like this. Uh, and a tiny little thing here where we just do this. What the fuck are you doing? Why are you focusing that? I did not click that. Fuck off. Get some help. Um, I, s I said, okay, that's like this, and this can go, I said it can go, oh, you, you're magnetizing again, that's, that's the problem. Okay, like this-ish, should be fine. Um, let, let me, let me. This. Uh, are you dumb? Get in here! What? 
Okay, now this is a little bit too high up. Um, which means... That, w w what is the snapping there? I, I don't even have snapping on. Boy, um, maybe turn it on and it, it gets better. I, I don't know. I, I seriously don't. Is this any better? Motherfucker. Okay, now it actually hangs where it is supposed to hang in terms of height. Um, now I just need to get that a little bit uh, more towards the center of mass, which means we're just gonna need to put the decoupler there uh, even further over. This should be fine. And then we're just gonna need to uh, strut this because otherwise it's gonna fall off. Like just uh, from here to here. And here to here. And that should be fine. Um, save that. And launch it again. Oh yeah, also, that obviously would count. Why are you already in there, you absolute idiot? Oh, Val! God damn it, Val! Tim was sitting up here. Like why? Why would any? Why? Why would it autofill all of a sudden when it usually doesn't autofill anything? <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, let Let's try this again. Okay. Um. This. The couples. Apparently, that is very much in need of a better landing solution. To an extent where I need to have that dangle a whole lot lower. Also... I feel like I kind of need to have that, like, inside a shell or behind a heat shield. Which, not the easiest task. Because if I don't have that behind a heat shield, it's going to burn up in Duna's atmosphere. Uh, which means this needs to be... Okay, first of all, uh, click... Okay. Um, just get this off for a moment. Um, put like two more. Where are we with that? Lower down, but still essentially a bit high. Let's honestly just try. Um, what's the the, sh the the long version of that? Yeah. Let's try this. Um. Okay. Okay. 
And I I just have to like de attach like a freaking I don't know. Decoupler under the under here and put the heat shield on there. Or something. Like, can I attach one of these? Not there, nope. Okay. Here? No. There's no 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 uh attachment points left. So I, I, if uh then we're going to uh have to use like a freaking like one of these and then uh not a beam and then like a heat shield under that like that and then strut that that should shield the entirety of the uh, rover so that that should work but uh, first and foremost we need to see if this now survives decoupling The idea being, if it survives decoupling on uh, Kerbin, it easily survives it on Duna because of the lower gravity, making this um, the <sighs> Val. Seriously. Val, seriously? Uh, I'm, I'm, you know what? Uh, just, just, just. Lor? First of all, Val, get the fuck off! Uh, second of all, why is this so bouncy? The heck? Uh, I also didn't take this off any more. Um, why is that so bouncy? Um, let, let, let me, let me, um, I don't know. If I put another one of these, is that going to be too long? At that point, it's beyond the... Uh, let, let's see. Let's see. It doesn't matter. Let, let's see. I want to see first. Whether that works. Okay. Good. Save. Launch. K. At this point, it's too low. Good. That point it's so low that it just frickin' uh, crushes the uh, wheels the moment we touch down. Which means... Uh, hmm. 
We need like... Oops. One. Two. And that is literally the height of the engines minus like half of a block. Which should make this impossible to um, touch the ground completely, but also impossible to blow up upon detaching. Again, Val, get the fuck off. I don't know why it doesn't save Kerbal configuration, by the way. That's that's a pretty huge oversight. I, I really want that to be saved. Because having to reconfigure it every time I try out a vessel is really fucking annoying. Okay. So there's that. And now... I decoupled that. And the fucking thing bounces like it's a fucking gummy bear! WHY ARE THE WHEELS BOUNCY?! There... Okay, yeah, we need to manually do that then. Um, spring strength and damper strength down to a bare minimum on all of these. And see if that uh, helps any... Making this more rigid. Decouple. Yeah. That actually is a lot better. While there's still a suspension problem. Because that's stupidly bouncy still. I at least Okay, steering seems to work. Everything seems to work fine with this. Apart from that. What? Hello. Okay. That's fine though. That's like the weakest suspension we can have by this. Uh, that's a bit harsh. Just saying. I'd, I'd like this e with even less suspension. Like, no suspension at all. Like, rigid. For decoupling, at least. But yeah, um... This works. That's good. So, um, I think we are fine saying... We are fine just uh, keeping it that way. Um, the amount of sunlight this is getting is a little bit low. 
for the fact that the sun's like over there. There shouldn't be really anything in the way of the sunlight. So this is a little bit, a little bit very low. At sixty-four percent exposure, we're getting point zero nine EC a second. Um, if I Can I make this hibernate? And then it uh, does start. Okay, good. Which means if there's a Kerbal on here, I can just make this hibernate. Which is good. <clears throat> good. Uh, revert to VAB. I'm fine with how this works. I mean, basically, that um, that probe is on there to uh, just to have that like look in a certain direction. I, I just for the decoupler, basically, it it, it makes n no sense to uh, have that be any different necessarily. So, yeah. Just make sure this auto hibernates in warp. Why is that not a thing that I can do on uh, like default settings? Why? Why is there no default setting for putting that into auto hibernation in warp? Because you know that should be on by default. Just saying. In general. And the fact that we needed a freaking um, um, module manager uh, freaking file for that on the first KSP was already ridiculous. That's nice. Um, then we need to strut that because there's no way I'm trusting this. Okay. Two things. One, uh, why can I not attach anything to that? Two, can you please focus down here? I hope that doesn't like drag too much. Um, put those back in. And the tons of parachutes that I was talking about earlier for getting through Duna's atmosphere. Um... Shoots? Utility? Yeah.
what I also kind of want to make sure doesn't fucking blow up. Like down here. Um, by just doing this and... Uh, Another one of these. And uh, maybe um, he tilts these. Should be fine ish. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. Why do these have super weird shrouds on them? Why would you enable the fairing on that? Makes no sense. Whatsoever. Anyway, um, that should be fine for like shielding most of the ship from any re-entry heat on uh, Duna. Um, just getting this into orbit is going to be a little bit of a hassle. In general. Like, I'm going to shoot this into orbit separately from the uh, freaking transfer stage, because there's no way I'm going to put a transfer stage under that and then still a rocket that can put that into orbit, because then the game's just gonna crash again, because... We saw what happened last time. Um, more shoots, please. That should be fine. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and separate these out because those aren't going to go off. That should go away. Um, Those don't. But you do. You do. Nope, 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 nope.
Why is there still one in the... There. Why is there still one? You don't. Okay, those are those. And here... I'm basically gonna say... Um, you go up there. You go up there. You... And the rest... goes down here and then we can do this um, also apparently there's like one thing that doesn't have like a freaking thing over here this better okay those stay there those stay here that's fine good um then something to bring this into orbit Oh yeah, RCS. Utility. Um, I guess here. And. Huh. Here. And. Here-ish? Uh, I don't know. Hope that works. Well, it doesn't cover up anything, it should be fine, right? Good. <clears throat> uh, and we need a little bit more actual, like... Monoprop fuel as well, um, which I'm going to put like tiny balls of that here. Actually, more like here. That should be enough, right? Point two five tons, point oh four tons. Uh, how much does this have? None, probably. Oh, point sixteen. Okay, that's good. Um, I think I'm fine with that. Yeah. And then, uh, can we can we disable the fairing? Yeah. Looks better. Because I don't see myself getting rid of that fearing at all. 
without everything blowing up. Um... Put a skipper under that and see how much that does. Curb and vacuum. Okay, so even in. No, not curbball. Curbin. Vacuum is still not even one. So, um, yeah, no, we're, we're definitely mainsailing up here. Nanda yokore. There we go. That's better. <laughs> okay. Which means we can just uh, like double up on this and um, get like at least. Two point eight. So almost three uh, of that out of the way already. And it doesn't really matter if we do this. Uh, in atmosphere or outside the atmosphere that's just how great these engines are and then obviously we're basically going to take the same uh, thing and like put it on there another Four times or something. Or eight. Nani. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, so these go together, obviously. Kill that. Uh, when that and that goes, these go... That's the wrong button. Um, what you can tell me, though, is if this is an atmosphere, we get 1.7 out of it. So that's almost two plus the three up there. That's five that's out of uh, atmosphere easily. And it's got 108, so it does go off the uh, launch pad, even if it's just slightly so. Maybe. Maybe. We're rethinking this one more time and doing like One point two five better. <clears throat> 
So these four, uh, these go. Then yeah, that, that that that's 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 fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, now obviously that needs a little bit of work regarding the aerodynamic on top. Why is this on a structural? And then the aerodynamic nose cone. And then we boom. Boom. Um, and then we kind of want to have some separatrons on here. Because. Can you throw that away? Those can go at the same time. Um, that not. I do that one manually. Um, that can go. Actually, after these. Yeah. 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 Or before these actually. So that's this. So I don't even need the uh, the, the action group really, because uh, once once the main like center engines here light up, we can get rid of that, and then we can get rid of the engines, and then we get rid of the. Um, heat shields as soon as we're in the atmosphere these should also be um, already activated because otherwise we're not being able to deorbit and uh, these are way later Because then that's all of these, yeah. And this stuff is basically all manual. Should be fine in terms of getting these up here. Okay, good. That should be fine in terms of uh, getting that out of the way. And Uh, then we just need a little bit of strutting work. Because without space tape, this is not going to work at all.
And then we're basically done with the build for the lander, which means next time we're going to shoot the lander up and then build the transfer stage. Oh, I'm looking at this, so maybe I should actually be building on this. Not at the one, one over. It's fine. And down here. You know, the one thing that's nice about this editor compared to the KSP1 editor, it doesn't double click automatically if it lags already while building. Because that, that was like the one thing that was really fucking annoying about the old one. Okay. Um, just... Because, and I think that should be all. And then we just Why those don't get uh, put into the same fucking thing as the engines that start first is beyond me. And that should be fine for the most part, I think. Oh, hey, it fucked up what I've, it fucked the thing again. Okay, good, great, awesome. No, I, I like that. I like when you do that. Totally makes sense. If you clip the camera under the fucking building uh, by accident, you're, you're fucked. This is fine. Good. Uh, save that and uh, we should be fine, right? So I will see you for the uh, launch of this Duna Lander in the next episode. Until then, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. And until next time, I'm WWE Deadman. Bye.